How can you tell the difference between a real Lorcana card and a fake Lorcana card? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to spot the differences so that way you can tell the fakes from the real cards. So almost every day in the Lorcana Facebook group, I'm seeing people posting up saying, hey, can someone help me out? Is this card a fake? And people are worried about getting fakes instead of real Lorcana cards, especially with Enchanted. And honestly, there's almost too many of those posts if I'm seeing them every day, but people are right to be worried because there are fakes out there and there are some really good looking fakes honestly and so you have to be careful so first off let's talk about what kind of fakes are out there in the wild I'm gonna basically put them into two categories one I'm calling the homemade ones that aren't very good and the second are the ones that look really good and that are printed in China so first off the homemade ones these are the ones that you can get on Etsy and they might look good in the pictures on Etsy but if you look at them in person they're actually really easy to tell from the real cards the look and the feel is much different than the real cards and that's because they are made differently than the real cards. And the way that they make these cards is first they take some holographic adhesive paper, they print the artwork on that holographic paper and then they stick it to a real card. And so the back will actually feel like a real card because it is a real card. But the front won't be anything like a real card. It won't feel like it and it won't look like it. If you take a look at the front of the card, it will be shiny, glossy, and it'll feel like photo paper. And on the fake cards, the surge pattern will be different as well. Most of the homemade ones on Etsy right now, they're more of a linear pattern just going diagonally and not that wavy surge foil pattern that that the real ones have. And so those are easy to tell the difference. But also on Etsy, you can get the ones that are printed in China that look a lot closer to the real ones. So if you see that the shipper is shipping the cards from China, then it'll be the ones that look a lot closer to the real thing. So let's talk about those. The cards that are not homemade, the ones that are printed in China on a real printing press, they look a lot closer to the real thing. And so those are the ones we need to talk about so you can spot the differences. Now those cards printed in China just started showing up on Etsy in the last little bit, but for a while now you've been able to get them on places like AliExpress. And these cards look very similar to the real thing because they're using a similar printing process and a similar surge foil pattern. So let's talk about how you can spot the differences between these fake cards cards and the real cards. So one way people are saying to easily spot a fake enchanted card is to see if the artist name and the text at the bottom is holographic. If it's shiny in the text at the bottom, then people are saying that it's a fake card. Honestly, yes, that is a quick way that you can spot if maybe it's fake and it could point you towards looking closer, but I wouldn't say that that's a really reliable way to say it's 100% fake. Because honestly, a lot of people have pulled enchanted cards that have a little bit of the hollow foil in the name and in the text at the bottom and so I wouldn't say that that's a surefire way to say that it's fake but again this is a quick way to look and see hey maybe I should take a closer look at this card along with being able to see that holographic shine in the text at the bottom you can look across the bottom where it has the black and it should be more of a matte finish and not so shiny so in this example the top one is the real enchanted card and the bottom one is the fake one and you can see in the top one it doesn't have the shine shiny text and it's more of a matte finish across the black at the bottom. And in the fake one, you can see that it has the holographic shine in the text and the bottom black bar is really glossy. And that's a quick way that you can visually see that you need to take a closer look at the card to see if it's real or if it's fake. But again, I wouldn't say that this is a surefire way to say that it's 100% fake. So let's talk about some other ways that you can see the differences between a fake and a real card. Now, one of the really good ways people have been talking about online to identify a fake is to look at the the symbol before the artist's name at the bottom. As of right now, if you look at that symbol before the artist's name, if it has an open end, that means it's a real card. All of the fake cards that I've seen have a closed end on that symbol. And you can see in this photo the difference. So if you use a jeweler's loop or a magnifying glass to look at that artist symbol, you'll be able to see fairly easily if it's a fake or real card based on if it's open or closed. As well as if you look at the diamond shape in the middle of the symbol, the real one looks a little bit more like a lore symbol, while the fake one looks a little bit more like a regular diamond shape. So that's one thing that you can look at. And I definitely would recommend getting a jeweler's loop. Some of them are really cheap on Amazon and it's just a really good thing to have, especially if you're dealing in expensive cards. And like I said, as of right now, all of the fake cards that I've seen have that closed end on the symbol, but that doesn't mean it could be changed in the future or fixed in the future. And so I wanted to find a couple of other ways to help you guys spot the fakes. And one of the ways that I found is if you look at the casting cost or the cost for the ink up in the top left, 
If you use a jeweler's loop to look at the number, you'll see that the real cards have kind of a grid pattern to them. They have lines going through it horizontally and vertically. And all of the real enchanted cards that I've looked at have had this grid pattern on those numbers. And all of the fake cards that I've looked at have not had that grid pattern. Now again, you need a jeweler's loop or a magnifying glass to be able to see this. And you need to look really closely even if you have a jeweler's loop. Because sometimes, especially with the shine on the real cards, you won't be able to see it. But if you look really closely, that's another way that you can spot that it's a real card. And one last way that you can look and see if it's a real card is in the lore symbol. So again, using a jeweler's loop, if you look down at the lore symbol in the middle of it, for the real cards, you'll be able to see that it has some very clear circled dots inside the symbol. Now the dot pattern will not be the same on all of the real enchanted cards, but all of the real enchanted cards do have inside of the lore symbol these very clear circled dots that stand alone and don't merge into the rest of the symbol, as well as another grid pattern similar to the one that we saw in the ink cost. If you look at the fake cards, you can see that they don't have these clear circles that are separated from the rest of the symbol. They're kind of messy and they kind of merge into the symbol. And so that's one last good way that you can check to make sure that it's a real Lorcana card. And that's specifically talking about the enchanted cards. Now really quick before we end the video, I wanted to talk about non-enchanted cards. And as you can see from this video that I have, there are also fake non-enchanted cards out there and they look very close to the real thing. But again, if you have a jeweler's loop and take a very close look at the cards, you'll be able to spot the differences. And luckily they're very similar to the ones that we looked at with the enchanted cards, which is you can see in the artist symbol, the differences between the end and the diamond shape in the middle. And for these as well, if you look at the lore symbol, you'll see that the real one has some of those circled dots, while the fake one doesn't have any of those. And so those are some simple ways that you can see if a regular card is fake or not as well. So hopefully that was helpful going through a bunch of different ways that you can spot the differences between the real Lorcana cards and the fake cards. If that was helpful for you guys, make sure you leave a like on this and share the video with other people so that they can be informed. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.